Media.com. All right, welcome back to another special episode of the Pentar LA01 and Booster Pump Repair Series. All right, we're on part two. In part one, we removed the front cover. We showed you how to do that. Now in part two, we're going to attempt to remove the impeller. That way we can access and change the seal. And then obviously remove the, the seal housing and then take apart the motor bearings and change the motor bearings as well. So if you have a Pentar LA10N uh, booster pump and it's making noise or leaking, this video series is for you. Okay, this video series is also sponsored by PumpRepairMedia.com. All parts are available at PumpRepairMedia.com. So go over there and get your parts after you watch the video series or even before you get the video series. All right, so what we're gonna do now is there's a back cap on the back of this motor. This is a, uh, a Century motor. You can either loosen the back cap with your hands, just like that, and you see the shaft. Okay, and then put it back on. If it's a little bit too hard for you, if it's right or something like that, no offense, man, it's okay, it's cool. You know, don't worry about it. Get yourself a pair of, uh, you know, channel locks and just use them like that. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, remove the rear cap. Now you can see here, you can see there, I probably think I have an angle here. You can see this, this thing has a flat edge on one side. You, you see that? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself a adjustable wrench just like this, and you're gonna adjust it to the width of the rear shaft, and you're gonna put the, the flat sides of the jaws on the flat sides of the shaft, okay? So I'm just gonna see, like, a little bit of play there, I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit more, and it's almost perfect, it's a little bit more to tighten it up. Uh, that was too much there. Yep, a little bit too much, a little back it out a little bit, and there you go. So now that I have it, and I have it snug there, you can see it's nice. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold this with one hand, and I'm spin this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to loosen this impeller. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, and there is no center bolt. So if you've seen other videos where you've seen, like, there's bolts in the center of impellers, not in the scenario, we're just going to hold the wrench with one hand and then turn the impeller with the other hand. And there you go. Look at that. Nice. Nice. That was, I was kind of, I was freaking out for a second there. I was like, am I going to get this on video? But there you go. You can see the impeller snapped off nice. That's one part of the seal right there we're going to be removing. And the second part of the seal you can see is in the housing. All right. So when we come back, we're going to be removing the seal housing from the motor section. We're going to be showing you how to remove both parts of the seal one part inside the impeller and one part of the seal housing. And then after that, we're going to break down the motor and show, show you how to change the motor bearings. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, please visit pumprepairmedia.com for all your parts. Thanks for watching videos. And like I said, when we come back, we're going to be removing the seal housing and the base of the pump and showing you how to remove the two parts of the seal. Peace.